Hey guys, it's Ben, and welcome back to Hexen. In the last part, we went to the caves of something, and we got a book. And in this part, we'll be able to use the book on this bookshelf, which in turn will make that guy appear. All right. That was a very good secret. Makes the guy appear. Now we can also do that again, which will in turn activate or pull down quite a lot of stuff, which in turn will just make a lot of enemies appear. Now I'm okay with that actually. Set yourself on fire. Get on fire. Also, you'll be able to pick up. Firestorm, which... What is that even? I don't know what that is. I will look it up and exhibit it as text. Or even better, I'll just look it up like right now. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so we did all that, which means... By the way, these things are just kind of annoying. Yeah. But anyway, with that, so we got an item now. That item has a oh crap. That item has to go into some sort of slot, and we've pretty much gotten every slot. Besides, I mean, we slotted pretty much every item we know except for that, which will. into that room. Good only I think you actually have to get into that room anyway. You may be wondering what was the point of all that. Well if we go over I have no clue actually. Hmm. What was the point of that? Oh I'm going back in there just it's perilous, isn't it? Alright, so this guy has his own statue again. That's pretty much it, he just made a little ground disappear. So yeah, I guess that's about it. In that case, we should head off to the next area, because... I don't know actually. Maybe that will trigger <laughs> friggin' opening the door the wrong way. Love it. Oh gosh. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so I don't know what's with that. Okay, right, so let's Whoa. Ah! Oh, dude, I remember a Fluvium. I remember that place. It's kind of weird. Do you think that'd be. First of all, it's just got this music. Yeah, it's nice music. Um, but. You think, oh no, it's gonna have all those. All those, uh, swamp guys. Actually, no, it doesn't really have any of those swamp guys. It's just a bit of a nice little diversion, but you've got, but, but, you've got to progress through this place because that's the way to go. I guess this place has them. And you've got to sort them out. Ah, get him out, get him out. I know there's one up there as well, but... Huh. Oh. So what you do... Where do you go? You go... You can see that there's a path from there. Oh, jeez, he sniped! 
had that guy sniping over there. Oh, I really missed that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, get him out. Alright. Oh gosh, oh gosh, get him out. Now I think we're all good because I just activated that. Now you still can't go in that direction. In fact, where do you go after this? I'm just kind of looking at my map in vain that I had found something. But... So I can go over in this direction, and there's a wall here that I can't really open the wall. There's a dead end. There's this doorway, I can't do anything about that. There's a portal there. It just chucks me back out here, okay. There's a lot of these grates on the ground. The great, great. My great, great grandfather had a great, great like that. That kind of great. Alright, so. Where? Oh, jeez, how am I missing that? Oh, now there's a lot of guys up there. There's a guy there. That pretty much killed them all. Hey, you got it. That worked. Dungeon key! Just lying right there, I'm serious, that was it. It's really odd, because it's just kind of there. So you've grabbed the dungeon key, and that's good, because now you can back out and go to where you need to pop in the dungeon key. It was in this room, wasn't it? Yeah. Which means, you get to fight more guys! Ah, uh, good old fighting. That's a really odd thing. So you can hear some stuff going on there. You can see the guys in the cages. see nothing else. Alright, so I'm in here. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of like, where? Where do I go? What's with all these spiky barrel things? Okay, I'm looking at it on that. I don't see anything. Back to the barrel room. I don't see anything. Nothing on walls, nothing anywhere. Huh. So odd. Oh well. Okay. Well, I guess I'll save here. I'll just save on the can you jump in there. Okay. Can I activate this? Go. Um. So odd. Okay, so that's there. Oh, that apparently opens this. That one tiny ledge. 
What happens when you open that? What does that do? What is that when you go back in here? Does that open the door over? Yeah? Yeah, I thought so. Still there's a giant pit there, but at least there's a portal! Which will take us to the next area! Dungeons! Classy name. Oh, this place! Absolutely hated this place. Now it doesn't look that bad, okay? You got, you got a few fire guys, yeah. Yeah, so what? It's just a few kind of fire guys. See that when that opens and you can push the thing there. So you're like, okay. But no, this get this gets pretty annoying because You know how there's the guys who First of all, these guys will just be everywhere. Like everywhere, it's so annoying. It's like you go do something, that's one of them right there or something. Push that button. And that allows you. Set them on fire again. Set them on even more fire. Okay. Saw that, right? Okay. So I activate that switch. And then, where do I go now? You may be wondering. Maybe you have to activate the key? Or the thinger? Yes, you do. Also, that activates this area. This area just starts getting annoying. This is probably, it's like... It, it reminds me of Nightmare Mode, except, like, it's not. It's the freaking third difficulty. It's like, what? You go around, you kill all these guys. You can also see that there's a guy over here. So, like, okay, I'll try and take him out. Easy peasy. Okay. You head into the center room. You see, okay, well, all the other cells are empty. So you're like, okay, what do I do now? All the other cells are empty. For each one you... For every time you press that, it'll open this and spawn in another one. Like, dude, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I mean, oh gosh, and this got annoying as a fighter, because think about it, every time you need to get somewhere, oh gosh, ouch, bad, bad central, or what they call local zones, now, because, you know, they're different, ouch, Okay. See, that's like, dude, that's just repetitive. You gotta do the same thing seven times. Or well, you know, you can get them all to come out once more. That's gonna be kind of so sad, isn't it? There you go. Once you finally get the last one. You don't have to kill them, I don't think. You just gotta press the button seven times, but it's gonna let them all out. So you're like, okay. Then you hear some guy spawn in, so you're like, oh gosh. This guy's appeared. And that appears, so you're like, okay, I'll push that. And then it's like, dude, what, where'd this come from? Now suddenly you were up in these higher areas. And when you go through each of these, there's gonna be a guy in like each of these areas. And I don't know, I just found myself dying so much in these areas. Maybe it's because there's a lot, there's a lot of air places to go to. Stop saying areas, areas, areas. Also, 
percent. Let's see these guys. Also, yeah, because I'm trying to hit these guys, and they're just going like, nope, don't want to get hit. And it's weird, because or you get a repulsion thing out. What's the point of repulsion thing thingos if you know they're in like these rooms here? See, they just keep getting these guys. Oh my goodness. All these side rooms, you'll let these guys out. You don't get any choice to not find them. So, yeah, so I don't know, I don't like the dungeons that much. Oh, these guys on the ground, that's just really morbid. There's so many of these hanging guys. Also, then there's a secret passage. Ah, oh, get you for hitting me in the face with your laser beam. Win, red or blue. Jeez, that tape is on. He died. But he wasn't that far behind. Just as long as he doesn't fire at me. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So anyway, I push the Push the switch, and we're out here. But there's a cave area over here. Yeah, I know. And Jesus, love guys. Also, I'm out of ammo. It's like we're against these guys in a very tight environment. You want to try and strafe around these guys because that's the only way they can attack you. Front. Okay, so it's like, okay, how about I just keep on going? No ammo anywhere else. So you're like, okay, I'll use my ammo item. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have any ammo items. You've got these things, I guess. That, that kind of works, actually. <laughs> Smells gas explodes. <laughs> Let's kill all of them. And these guys come out. So I okay, I'll shoot them down. Before you can even take down you run out of ammo. By the way, when you enter these rooms, you've got to pull this thing. So yeah. Oh, my mic was a bit high. So basically, yeah, I don't I don't know why, but I just find myself stressed for ammo right now. Sorry, I am finding myself because I wasn't really I'm not stressed for ammo when I don't need any ammo. I'm not stressed for ammo when I don't need no ammo. These guys are weak to the hands and I run out of the hands. Also, these rooms kind of light up. That's kind of nice. Also, health is nice here. Hear that sound? That doesn't sound good. When you look at the map, you see that you've ended up 
Killing everyone by doing that. Why did I just use that again? Then you can go down the stairs, grab a few of these, and then you're at the bottom again. But again, you know, there's still quite a quite a few guys who are still there trying to kill you. That's just one of the more annoying parts, is that this is just a bit of an annoying place to navigate on. But I do like the design of it, and I do like what they've tried to do, pretty much. Also, Swamp Monster. Not bad. Bad Swamp Monster. I mean, they take him out somehow. Yeah, that worked. Hey, that's a very nice pit you put there. Now oh, the pit leads you to here. Leads you to a new room in here. That's that's intriguing. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Expected him to happen. Come at me, bro. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll just walk around. Push that. And then the water level goes up. Which allows us... Enter a new area. Why is the water still pushing in that direction? Dude, there is nothing going in there. Oh, that's it was, I guess. Yeah. That goes back down. That's all you're here for. What's those? So, anyway, um. Like, oh no, I tripped over. Uh, other than that, can you do anything else in this area? Or is it still just limited to. Oh, you can go in here. I apparently have fooled this out. I know. My favorite place where you literally have to just encounter these guys. place where you just have to walk into them one by one. Well, apparently that's an area. Where does this go to? Apparently moves down that wall, I don't know why. Okay, come on, die, 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 die. I've been here for an hour, apparently, in this uh, hub. Oh no! Dude, I had the thing over there, there you go. Let me get the thing out. Let me get the thing out. Go up. There you go. Thank you for letting me go up. And excuse me while I grab my dragon skin braces. So apparently, yeah, those apparently increase your armor, which is weird because in this game there's no visible armor. You can also see that there's an area over there. Which I believe you can get to through there, but... Hey, hey. 
Whoa, how'd you get in there? Ouch. Oh, dude. This sounds like fun. Whoa, hello, brown dragon guy. Brown lizard man. Also, you can reduce the water levels down, which will allow you to access the secrets in them. Like, for example, this one has a shield. And you may be wondering how to get out of here. That's a good question. Oh, that's a platform. Don't fall off the platform. It's not nice. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time because I'm running over time. I really gotta look at the clock. See you guys then.